Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Interfighting Interstate here, and welcome to some more Total Warhammer SFOMO Grim Hammer. This isn't going to be a thematic campaign like the Beastman. I think I'm just going to double down, have some fun with a new campaign. Mortal Empires, as always. We're doing some Lizardman stuff today. Yeah, we could play as um, Naki, we could play as Gorok, we could play as Tick 2. I don't really like these guys. I like my main man. Krokgar, just a wonderful, well-rounded general who likes petting his dinos. It's very cute. Um, as you notice, there's been some changes from Grimhammer that they've done to him. Research rate, he doesn't get, what, the 10% just bonus? Or no, he gets research rate penalties. He loses that 10% upkeep. Um, for all units, it said it is more targeted towards... Uh, Beasts as more thematic to him, just being the beast tamer. Gets recruitment bonuses for pterodon riders, bastillodons, feral carnosaurs, and dread sauron units. Gets discounts for saurus units, armor for stegodons, ambush chances, which are nice. And overall, just some more buffs to the dinosaurs, which were kind of part of his main forte. Uh, we're going to start in the Kingdom of Beasts, which is all the way in the ass crack of the Total Warhammer. Uh, cinematic universe just away from everyone else not a lot of fun I'm kidding it'll be lots of fun carving out territory and just having a good old time this is all that this campaign is just me having a blast let's jump right into this here an age of internal wars approaching for the last defender of Exotel and his loyal followers such a time holds no fear Krokgar is an ancient Scar leader who has killed countless enemies, a tally that is about to drastically increase. Sent across the world upon by Lord Maz Mundi himself, Krokgar's task is simple. He must strengthen the degrading geomatic web and eradicate all those discordant to the great plan. He begins at the Temples of Skulls, where no doubt more skulls will soon be offered. Almighty Krokgar, you find yourself far from home on an expedition to the Southlands. Yet you are not alone here. Other lizard kin may be found nearby, although their interpretation of the great plan may differ from yours. I advise caution. Beyond the jungles lie the barren deserts of the dead. You will find no allies here, and the mountains are not hospitable to your kind. Yet they will need to be crossed if you are to join your geomantic strands to the nodes in Lustria. Beware, truth of the living. The warm blood that dwell in these lands make constant war upon one another and will be hostile to your cohorts also. Build your strength, then move against them in force. Fulfillment of the great plan depends upon your control of the Southlands, Ferocious Lord. Expand your realm, conquer the warm bloods, and bring the designs of the old ones to fruition. I couldn't agree more. We are going to bring the great plan into action. But before we can do some fun with that, we actually have to get out of our little starting province here. Um, of this, of the Kingdom of the Beasts. Because Krokgar's campaign is pretty hard. And I have some troubles with it in the starting region. And basically, I believe, what is this clan, Mordekin? Relations with foreign powers it may is. be managed through diplomacy, my lord. I know, I know. Uh, this is Clan Mordekin. Uh, basically, they control the Serpent Coast and the Cursed Jungle. The only problem here is if you take too long taking care of this guy, there are two armies that come out of here. This one eventually gets a death stack and it becomes near damn impossible to take care of the Cursed Jungle because your economy isn't developed enough to support a death stack of, of sources or skinks. And that leaves some trouble with um, just taking care of this because they can get some really nice and troops. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tell. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna do a little we're gonna do a little juduk here. We're gonna tell Hell Scurry to frick off. We're gonna sneak back into our own province, and instead of doing Saurus warriors, which are just beautiful little pieces of infantry, uh, we're gonna do Skin core cor We're gonna recruit three of these guys because our economy can handle them for the meantime. They do start us off with Raktok. A skink priest, one of the heavens, which is quite nice of the game. We're going to send him up to the cursed jungle. Search those ruins. I know there's skaven up there, but that's the only way you can, like, the game's like, oh, there are skaven here. 
Uh, we need to have him keep an eye out for whatever comes down this way because this is the main road to take. And Crockbar with his 20 Crockett Gar, my bad, with his 25% ambush chance. Well, you just sit on that road there and you can pick off some really beefy Skaven forces without any trouble. Now, if you will notice, there has been a addition to the retinue. Blessed Carnosaur. Do not confuse this with uh, Krokgar's um, Grimlock. That is not, that is not, that is not his precious ride. Instead, this is just a Blessed Carnosaur, which will basically be the backbone of my entire army, and we'll try to keep that as live as possible. As for the Temples of Skulls, there are a couple issues. Skimming Corruption, Public Order, <sighs> it's a mess. So, we're only getting 69 gold from this province. That's barely anything. We can get rid of that, and on top of that, let's build a lot of cool stuff here. Ooh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Feral Dread Soren. Dread Soren. We got the Feral Carnosaur, Ancient Stegonon, Engine of the Gods. We're going to want to go into this one, because that's some crazy artillery pieces here. Um, oh my god, it's just so much cool shit to build here. Um, uh, sorry, I have to yawn. My apologies for that. But we're going to do the old one monument because it brings public order, gets income going, and you know what? It provides a decent garrison. So that'll be ready in two turns. That's all the prep in turn one. And we're already pretty into this. This is going to be a pretty analytical campaign. Actually, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to take this one a bit slow. There'll be quite a bit of editing. So, yeah, I'll see you guys after this turn. Well, maybe I should uh, I should probably explain this. I don't really know. I like Krokgar. I like the Lizardmen. I like I like how beefy they are. Uh, they lack some artillery, so you can have some fun with that. They're a really cool faction to play as. And so I'm going to like take this campaign a little slow, because I usually have a tendency to rush into things. Um, ooh, looks like... Well, we're going to just unequip that, so... It's got to be like a glitch or something. Sometimes it gives me three. Sometimes it gives me enough. Um, huh, okay. I think we can take the Serpent Coast. Oh, no. There's Skaven. So, um, we could totally auto-resolve this. But it usually screws us over. Um, I'm not going to auto-resolve hardly anything in this starting thing. Because we need to have as much troops as we have as healthy as we can when we go take on their big settlement over there. So let's go fight this battle. El Manuel. So they're bringing in some Skaven clan rats, which have no, none of these guys have armor, uh, except for their, uh, what are those, the Night Slingers. So we're going to basically shred through them really quickly here. They also have low morale, which are leadership. Rocker is a juggernaut, huh? Really? Okay. Bone Crusher. Oh my god, this is such a beefy unit. Uh, we're going to do the standard setup here. We're going to move these guys to here. We'll have uh, some flanking there. Sadly, these guys don't get... Um, these are feral riders. Let's just zoom in here a little bit at them. Uh, unfortunately, these guys don't get, um, that special deployment, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's take a, let's take a look at our blessed Carnosaur. Look at him. All, all beautiful. Look at, look at him. Look at her. It's just a beautiful, all bedazzled and blessed. And we got our little Stegodon here. It's a little chunky. Little, little, little chunker. Um, I'm gonna stop playing around here, but I just like to show off some of the troops because the design for the Lizardmen are just really cool. I like the concept of them. It's just, it's nice. And we got our big boys here with clubs and little cleavers. All good stuff. So with that, we're going to put our javelins in a bit of a weird position. We're going to have them outstretched to here. Just because when the sweep comes, I kind of want this to hook out. I'll just show you what I mean. Krukgar, get in the corn, please. Let's start this battle. Let's have everyone move. 
you guys need to set up an offensive position there because we want to get a nice little flank. Um, they start rotating. Whoa, it's almost like I've played this campaign a hundred trillion times, and look at that. They're counter-rotating. So you know what we'll do? We will. Let's see what they'll do. Let's just wait. Okay, it looks like they're counter-rotating. That's fine. We can peel... You can peel these guys up. That's cool. You got care? Okay. We're going to pause this because they're doing exactly what I want them to do. This faction over here is going to move. So we're going to have these guys uh, stake up there. Have these guys stake up there. Have these guys kind of cup them. We want to cup them. I'll get that nice cup. Uh, I think we can. Well, we have a lot of our heavy boys. So you know what? We can just. We can just we just have these. You know what? We just have these guys crash in there. Boom. And give um, a cool thing with this mod is we have these nice one-time abilities because they have. Wait for it. A ten thousand recharge time modifier to them, so we can, you know, fire resistance. We can magic resistance. Perfect vigor, which is really nice. But I always like to do the blessed spawn of hunachi which is literally just a buff it is just a pure buff which we will trigger now have these guys okay let's get the cup going here Okay, and here we go. Look at the Carnosaur just rip these guys apart. There we go. Alright. Get a nice overlook here. Just peppering them with some javelins. They'll meet up with them first. We'll have them hit them head on here. Rock Gar needs to get in some of this. Uh, he needs to get some kills. Come on, buddy. You know, we're not going to take the great plan. It does require some carnage. We'll let the cold one riders pursue. And we'll just get the... Oh, look at that thing just freaking go. Yikes. Almost feel bad for the Skaven, but they're in the way of the great plan. So they have no mercy for me. Skaven going to fall into there. Can I get these guys to peel off? I don't want the Skaven moving out too much. I have these guys crash down into here. We'll have our javelins move on to them. Alright, we just gotta keep up the pace here. Javelins, Kruk Guard, please get into the combat. Cold Run Riders just picking them off one by one. Really nice units early on in the game. You gotta get the upgraded versions later on, otherwise, they just don't really cut the cheese. Alright, so this one's got a little interesting. I did a test run earlier uh, just to make sure my mic was functional and whatnot. Um, the test run went a lot better than this. Uh, we were able to really bog them down because they ended up taking over that area. But, final stands are final stands. This should be enough for the route. There's the horn. Oh, victory. And there's the victory. Let's see how many troops we lost. It was a decisive victory. Ooh, that's unfortunate. The last time I did this, I only lost four troops. Um, 50s, 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 all right, but that's that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit of loss. Um, man, the uh, indirect fire from those um, slingers really did some work. That's unfortunate to hear. Does it a decisive victory nonetheless? We get some loot out of it. We get, ooh, that's barely anything, 258 gold. We get the Sword of Anti-Heroes. We do get Croc Guard to rank 2, which means 2 level up points. And that's it. Let's occupy. Enables Magical Attacks, Sword of Anti-Heroes, Weapon. Ooh, that's exactly what we want with Croc Guard. We're just going to make him into the General Death. We will do Route Marcher for Campaign Movement and then Feverant. Why? Because we have a problem with Untaintedness, as you can clearly see. Uh... 
over here. Just not, not really good. We're going to take the time to recruit two skin cohorts. Because we need to get to work on eradicating their empire. Uh, Rukto, can you please search the ruins, my dude? Be greatly appreciated. Lo and behold, last fall of Clan Mordekin. Um, this is Volmek. He's armored and shielded. Cleanse corruption. And I need to get him into the, uh, sort of the good priest uh, loadout. So we gotta max out these skills early on. Uh, steel technology, I don't really care for. Wound, we'll work on a bit later in the campaign. Um, cleansing corruption is the main priority that I believe Skin Priest sold. And then you can really just max out their magic nice and early on and turn them into these very vicious killing machines. Uh, some people might argue, you know, upgrade this. I always like to go for the level 2, which is in 4 turns, which shouldn't take too long at all. These guys are healing up nice and likely. Do we have any regiment of renown? No, it doesn't look like these things get locked until level 10. The level 30, the thunderous one. Ooh. That is a unit. I think we'll just end our turn. Um, we do have some rights we could do. Um, last for 10 turns. Right is Stotek. Uh, we're not making too much turn, though. I mean, we could pay that off in, what, hypothetically four turns? And four turns, the Temple of Skulls will be built. So, you know what? Let's do the right of Sotek. Because why not? Because I don't want these, uh, I don't want these guys in my jungle. I, that's straight up why. I don't want them in my jungle. I don't want the Skaven pushing forward while I'm trying to push out. I don't want any. I don't want any of that. Nice, he's raiding. You fool. I should give him some attrition though, right? No caps, please. Okay, so with that all said and done here, looks like this building was just completed in time. So now there's, we'll be getting, we'll be getting some, uh, ooh, okay. The trick here is just to slowly inch our way up, go into the encamps. Since when was in camp 50? Oh, shit. Okay, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, you know what? We can pick up. Let's pick up another skink cohort. Oh, what's this? There we go, right of Stotek. And then, you know what? We can, uh... Pick up one more Saurus Warrior. I'm not too worried about anything. Can we, just, can we just harass these guys? There we go. We can level him up. We can cheese leveling up here. Let's do Wind Blast. Double that because that's nice. Research. This tablet of spawning. Research the following items to advance the Lizardman's Great Plan even further. Recruitment costs my 10% for Skink and Chameleon units. That's nice. Skinks will be the backbone of this army for quite a while let's end this turn and keep on pushing forward yes I know he's raiding are you not taking attrition that is unfortunate that kind of that pisses me off a little bit Let's, oh, we're losing money now. That's not good. Okay, you know what we can get rid of? We can get rid of... Actually, I don't want to get rid of anything. I'm going to need his... I'm going to need everything. It's because my... Uh, there are some new new bonuses and stuff like this. So if you look down here, Provincial Effects, uh, Population is indifferent. This actually relates to Tax Effects. So... We need to get rid of this guy so we can get our tax income back. So if you can, sorry, I don't maybe I didn't show that off good enough. As you can see, through public order negative 25 to 25, we get no tax bonus. We get no research rate bonus. Um, 
we we have dipped past that so that's why we're in the negative here settlement upgrade I know I know let's keep pushing on here underway interception I'm gonna resolve this yeah we barely we lost barely anything we can full heal which means we get rid of the raiders and everything of the sorts which is a nice cool and it should get rid of some of the public order issues too uh, the rumors are false look at that there we go we're getting ooh word save six percent delicious bonded service there we go let's push into enemy territory now that's what we will do we will push into You guys see their garrisons already loaded up, and I gotta fucking hit that now. And this is what I was worried about, boys. We're gonna get bogged down here. We're gonna get bogged down. <sighs> Time of prosperity. Fuck. Are you kidding me? You're able to burp out another army? He's got 11 units. This was the same issue I was dealing with the last campaign, and frankly, I don't like it. It actually kind of irks me a bit. We'll go into the march stance here. No, great fear. Never stop. We'll just block the army. Oh, we failed. What the hell? Evasion. We get chain lightning. There, we can upgrade that. Which, we'll get this settlement to level 3, so we go from the Temple Precedent to the Holy Ziggurat. That'll take about 4 turns to build. Thank me for four. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to decline that. Capital spawning has been complete. We'll work on the sequence. No, we'll just uh, we'll go all the way in on that one. See, this is what I'm talking about. How the fuck am I supposed... How are you supposed to take care of that? Huh? How am I, how am I actually supposed to, like... How am I actually supposed to take care of that? We gotta make some kind of surplus if we're fucked. And then I'm gonna upgrade that. Well, we're gonna have to hold off on that for a while. God damn it. And this is uh, this is what I was worried about. Just Clan Mordekin just gets a really stupid holdout spot. They get alarmed. They, they can rush. And look at this. This is unbelievable. How the fuck am I actually supposed to take care of this? The answer is you, uh, you don't. Just, it's really upsetting to see this happen again.
And it's like, it'd be a different story if, um, what's this going to do? There we go. It would, uh, it'd be a different story if, uh, the skin priest had, like, break walls and stuff like that. But it's, it's not. Unfortunately. So he's gonna encamp. Hopefully this will... No way to attack. No, don't, don't run away, don't, no, don't stop running away. There we go. Auto resolve. Decisive victory. Far cry levels up, which means we get spawn in service, we get draftmen. Our skink priest at rock toke level. Oh, we get double barrel. Twice the firepower comes with a guide on how to load both barrels at the same time. If only one more, if only more of the crew could read. Huh, so this is like for archers and stuff. Alright, let's level you up. Let us get chain lightning going. Ooh, wait a minute. Let's get magical reserves actually going because we need lots of magic, lots of spells. And look at this 20, 20 doom stack of just shit. Just really, really unfortunate to see happen. Geomatic web is looking decent, I suppose. Alright. Gotta deal with these scaven somehow. We'll give it one more turn, and then I think I just might call it apart. Just keep recruiting more lords. Hmm. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think I think I'll call this a part. I'm gonna have to figure out a way how to deal with these Skaven and unwedge them from this just iron gauntlet of a cursed jungle. God, that's a huge ass garrison. I don't have enough source warriors to take care of that. This is an interesting dilemma we're in. So we'll have to see what I decide to do next time, ladies and gentlemen. This has been your host, Dinner Fried Dinner Steak, here playing another unfortunate campaign of Total Warhammer. SFO Grim Hammer with Kruk Gar Lizardmen. We're going to ignite the great plan eventually. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.